This is an open letter to the DWP or the PIP people or whoever it fuck it is that needs to hear this. Today I have just reached my limit. I really have. I'm there's only so many times you can hit somebody before they want to fucking hit back. As you can see, I'm sat in my bed. In the same place I've been sat for 12 years, I might add. Even though the lying pip assessor who came to assess me said there was nothing wrong with me. And I didn't deserve to have any money at all. Okay, whatever. Now you're starting with my daughter. That's where I take fucking umbrage. Hands up, everyone, that when they had a child, opened a post office account, opened a savings account, or did something, got a piggy bank, started putting money away for them. Did we have money when we had my son? No. We didn't have a pot to piss in. But I still opened a post office account for him. Because as a parent, I thought that was my responsibility to put money away so that in the future, he might have money to go to college. Maybe put a deposit on a house. Buy his first car. Who knows? Whatever. That was what I was doing. So when I had my daughter, I did the same. I have two accounts. One for him, one for her. She knows absolutely nothing about it. In fact, it took us pleading and begging to finally get into the system to try and get her a bank account because anything that's to do with growing up, she doesn't want to know because she thinks it's an adult thing to do and then she'll die. She's autistic and she's terrified. So when she was born, or not long after when she was born, the government decided they do a child uh, trust fund thing and they gave every child so much money in an account and then they'd add to it every year or whatever and when they were 18 they could access it got to when she was 18 they sent us the letter for her to access it she didn't want to access it it was being an adult she was going to die so it took forever for her to finally agree for us to go through the motions then we had to try and open a bank account. What joy that was. That took over a year. Because she doesn't have a passport or a driving licence. Or she doesn't pay the rent. Or she doesn't have a bill. Because she's fucking disabled. She's autistic. We look after her. That's our job. So we finally open a bank account. Then we move her trust fund money from where it was, because they can't do anything with it anymore, into her savings account. So she has a savings account and a basic bank account. Her money has been paid into my bank account up to this point because she didn't have one. All of a sudden, Universal Credit want four months worth of my bank statements to mooch about in to see what I'm doing with her money so I assumed so I gave it to them then they contacted me and they were like um we seen um a thing that goes out um every month to madam savings what is that I don't know what do you think it might be savings for madam oh we need to look into this so I said to them it's a savings account and it's for when I die. There's me, my husband, my son and my daughter. Have we got anyone else that helps us? No. Does anyone else give a flying fuck? No. So I was putting money away so that when we die, they might have a little fucking barrier while they're getting used to having no parents. They've got some money to rely on. Oh no. No. I'm not allowed to do that. Why? I am in charge of that bank account. It's a savings account. One for him, one for her. They get it when I die. They've now decided today she's not entitled to universal credit. Because she's got too much money in savings. She hasn't got that money. 
And so she didn't get that money or it wasn't associated with her. I've put it in my son's account. So he's got it all. But yet they've still decided that she's got too much money so she can't have universal credit. So she's been penalised because her parents decided it might be a good idea to put a bit of money aside for when she needs it. She's been penalised because she hasn't spent all the money that the government's given her. I said to them, she doesn't go clubbing, she doesn't smoke, she doesn't drink. She plays cross-stitch on the computer and does diamond paintings. She still fucking watches Peppa Pig. So any money that's in her account, you gave it to her. You say, the government says you're entitled to X amount to live on. But they doesn't say the government says you have to spend it the minute you get it. It doesn't say that you're not allowed to put it away for a rainy day. So because she's not pissing it up a wall or injecting it up her arm or doing whatever else they think poor disabled people do, they've told her she's not allowed to have any universal credit now. I, d I don't understand. I really don't understand. The fucking government have offshore accounts and they don't pay any tax. But a disabled autistic girl's not allowed to have a bit of a buffer for when her parents die. Where's the fucking right in that? So, I said to my husband, I don't know, I might put it all on a horse. I know, I might go out in the back garden and set fucking light to it. Then what? She hasn't got it. Then what are you going to do? I was thinking, oh, that'll be handy. They'll get the house. They'll have a bit of money. They'll be okay. They can look after each other. So you want her to have nothing. So she's dependent on the government for the rest of her day. So you want to pay for her forever, do you? Great. We're going on a fucking holiday. 